This part is crazy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshni and this is Betty Grew Up. Today's video is also a little bit different. I went to the Renaissance Fair and I actually got my palms read for the first time. I'd never gotten my palms read before. I was just kind of doing it as a whim and then I was like, you know what? Like a lot of the things she was saying were really accurate or really resonated with me. Later, I went back to the exact same palm reader and the first time I didn't film it but I do have like a little card of all the things that she told me. I wanted to share some of the best moments of that with you so share my reaction and if anything she said has come true or kind of how things are going. Um, there is a lot that you can actually learn. Some really cool things that you might be able to see in your own hands so let's just get to it. If you're interested in seeing the whole palm reading I have like a whole recording if you want to watch it just let me know comment below. Without further ado let's get to it. The first time that I went I got my palm and my tarot done and she told me I was gonna like meet this guy with like brown hair and like greenish eyes. It's gonna change my life within the next month. So it goes back all the way through here. This is your lifeline. And then it goes all the way around. At the thumb it's 65, then it goes 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. It does keep going, so I'll stop about 90. Okay, so if you know anything about palm reading, you know that you start with your dominant hand, and that is my right hand or left hand. You can actually tell the story of like your past lives. So this is our lifeline. It goes up through here, and normally people's ends around here, but mine goes all the way around to the back of my hand. Um, you do have a little um, tight separation here. You're not going anywhere. It's very, very deep. She was saying that there was a gap, here again, like I'm showing you, is my lifeline. There is like a little bit of a gap right here. So if you look really closely, you can see that it's still faintly connected and the line, like she was saying, is very deep. Um, but she was like, you know, warning me. Worry lines, I don't want you worrying. So I want you to be a warrior. I don't want you to be a warrior, okay? So you are a very strong woman. Don't worry, because it'll cause hypertension and then it takes away from your creativity. Um, you have a lot of angels and guides and ancestors here that want to watch over you and take care of you. Right here, all these extra lines are literally like ancestors, angels, spirit guides, and I want to make like maybe a story time-ish video on this or talk to you about this experience that I had, but I've basically sort of met my spirit guides. It just kind of came to me and it was a very weird very very intense experience i don't know if you guys know who tyler henry is i'm obsessed with him his sixth sense uses the other five senses to tell him what's going on and that's exactly how it was for me like every smell anything that was on my walls or on tv or any my actual emotions like that's all what was being used as a vessel to speak to me but i could tell there was like a choir of people i don't know some of this might just sound crazy to some of you and i don't think it was dark i definitely don't believe now that it was a dark thing at all but I learned a couple weeks later that angels don't actually speak, but they're there, they look out for you, they help you fight for things, um, but they don't actually talk. So when she said that I had like a lot of angels and a lot of spirit guides like with me, like that actually kind of freaked me out and I was like, you know what, I think like in a weird way it made a lot of sense. Teacher's mark, which that represents um, being the voice for others do not speak. It also uh, represents being um, a leader. We have giant stars right in here. You have quite a few stars in your hand. Um, stars are for um, uh, writing and for manifesting. You also have a lot of uh, diamonds in your hand. I don't know if you've ever seen all your diamonds. It's like you're an Avenger. And that's why I drew that original diamond on my hand. So if you can see, there's like a giant diamond right there. There's one right here. Um, there's one right here, and then there's lots of stars, so if you can see that, that's kind of a star. Hearing that stars meant that I was good at manifesting was beautiful, and in the last year, I've learned a lot about manifesting, and I've practiced it, and I actually have been, like, pretty good at it. Like, I manifested, like, my house having these beautiful Christmas decorations, and I got it, and it was all for free, and then I manifested thicker hair and literally you guys like I don't know if you can see these weird tufts of hair that are coming out but like I manifested that like I swear either that or like someone gave me a terrible haircut but I haven't gone for a haircut in a long time and it's crazy that these like giant tufts of hair are just coming out of my head like randomly this never happened before in my life 
And then I manifested my new apartment and I manifested a group of beautiful friends and beautiful women of color around me. Um, so that was really encouraging and it kind of just gave me more like motivation to manifest the things that I want and to not like give up on that power and to not waste that energy. Many, many travels throughout the world, uh, throughout the United States. Lots of uh, moving in your life, so that'll be fun. Fact is, there's no, there is nowhere you will not go, including um, uh, Hawaii and Alaska and Puerto Rico. Um, throughout the world, there's, uh, we've got so many big places um, throughout the world. Um, beautiful, beautiful places. So just everywhere. Children, if you choose that, deep lines are, are boys and fine lines are girls, and it looks like you have two boys and a girl. Last time I went there, she basically said that I would have two boys, one girl, and then one other girl that I was like taking care of and I've always wanted to adopt. This time she mentioned that I would have two boys and a girl and then didn't say anything about the girl that I would be taking care of. Marriage for you it looks like uh, anywhere between about 25 and maybe 28. We see possibilities to make things happen. You do have a lot of travel and you do have a lot of school. So, um, just because I said 25 or 28, it could be closer to 30, so. Is that what you're doing most of stuff? Have I talked to you before? Yeah. I, I came here so. like a month ago. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So you go all over the world doing workshops. So this is where she actually recognized me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Are you engaged yet? No, not yet. No. Okay. And you're still doing, you're doing your life coaching. Mm -hmm. It should be doing really well for you by this fall. Okay. I remember this. I think yeah. I told you. Yeah. 2019, it's doing fantastic. Let's continue. Right. So doing any kind of workshops in really pretty places, eventually they'll come to you on like you know whether it's land here or eventually like on a cruise or something she you know was talking to me the first time about how much i was going to travel how i was going to do these workshops how people were going to hear me speak how i was going to do workshops even on cruises and she mentioned the cruise thing this last time which i never even knew like i never even thought of that as an opportunity that was the craziest part because it felt like she was seeing my story so clearly that she knew that it was this one same person and I mean I wasn't sure if like the traveling or the speaking thing was something that she maybe made up or was something that she wasn't sure about um, but it was so clear to her both times that she like drew the connection which I think is rare and it would have been really awkward if I was like no that wasn't me so I don't think she would have like said it unless she really really had an idea that that could have been me um, and so that just gives me like an extra belief also in my future so yeah. do you have any questions for me um, can you see anything about like past lives from past? yeah that's in your other hand um, this would be a healer in past lives very clairvoyant. Um, what you were is a viewer for the king. Um, it was, you know, very good for you. You were given a lot of money, and it was. Uh, that's why it stands up so high. Um, the downside of it was if you got anything wrong or um, a couple different lives um, when you it just. This is what just happened. It's almost like a shield. I don't know if you can see the shield in there. It's kind of cool. And when that happened, was um, people were martyred. So, or, or off their heads. So you probably don't like anything tight around your neck. No, I really have hot. always had a paranoia of like breaking my neck. Yeah. He said that I may have been a martyr and that I could have had my head cut off, but I've always been afraid of my neck breaking. Literally in elementary school, I remember like me dropping a pencil and then like we'd be sitting in like groups or at tables and like someone else would scoot their chair back and I'd be so afraid that I would go down to pick up my pencil the same time that someone scooted their chair back and like it would like hit my head and like break my neck. And, like this was a legitimate fear of mine. Like it was so weird. That's how you know um, when people do past life with you, you always have to be. Um, if it resonates, then it's truth. If not, you have to let it go. Um, you were a big speaker, and people came far and wide to hear you. Whatever you said, again, if there were times they, uh, you know, burned you at the stake, it followed through, and sometimes you don't always like to speak. And so you need to let that go. Um, and I believe in past lives, um, but I didn't until recently, and I don't, I haven't visited my past life yet. I'm going to do a past life regression and actually share that video with you guys. So um, it's gonna be really, really exciting. But I'm also like low-key terrified. What she said actually blew my mind. My fears with 
speaking up on YouTube, speaking up in a meeting at word class. Like I was so much more shy as a kid in class. I would be afraid to cough in class. Like give me a thumbs up if you relate to that. And I was just so afraid to call someone out. I was scared of being wrong. I felt I would internalize my pain so much. Like my shyness was insane. If you had many lives, um, I'd say you didn't live much past about 30-ish, um, and it was because of the different times. So you could do a lot of uh, stuff with animals in this life. You could even do healings with animals because you have the Reiki, and I, I don't know if I broke that down before, but you um, very much could do Reiki and you could do energy healings with the animals. Um, you have a beautiful mind. You're here for great change. It's a beautiful mind and it does not shut down. If you watch my recent video on my life update, you know that I've really been going through a depression and really feeling like I've been losing my identity. So being able to just connect to these things um, that help me feel A, like I'm connected to something bigger and B, like I have this idea of who I am and just because it's different doesn't mean I need to give up on it has been huge. That's really helped my mental health and it's also just made me believe in myself again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was definitely different, um, but if you want me to compare that to another palm reader, I'm totally down. Just let me know if you're interested and if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Again, you can always um, email me or reach out to me and you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course my website, as well as Patreons. I love you guys so much. Happy healing.